I'm Dave Butcher, an Ilford master printer trained by Ilford during the 21 years that I worked for them. This video shows you how to make split grade prints the Ilford way using a Durst uh, M670 colouring larger with Ilford's under the lens multi-grade filters. This is the easiest way to make good prints with a, a minimum or no dodging and burning. Right, so this is the enlarger we're going to use. It does have a colour head but it's a bit of a nuisance having to use one for split grade printing because you're adjusting these uh, coloured wheels in safe lights. not that easy to read the numbers when there's no light on there. So you can turn these all to zero or you can use this lever here which is the white light lever. The light when it's in the up position bypasses these coloured filters anyway. Uh, there's a big gap in the middle here because um, you need to choose the mixing box depending on the format of the negative. So if it's 35mm you'd use the small box here and if it's up to 6 by 7 so 645, 66, 67 uh, you'd use this bigger mixing box. We're going to use uh, 6 by 7 my negatives are 6 by 7 mostly so we just put that in there it just pushes in there's these two screws on either side and the, these little uh, keyhole the holes just go in like that and then you'll need a, a negative carrier so this is the sort of thing and it comes with these inserts and you just push them and they, they come out. You have different sized inserts for the different formats of film. This one's set up for 35mm which is no use to us. But here's one I prepared earlier that um, has two sheets of glass. Plain glass on the bottom, anti-Newton ring glass on the top. This will hold a big negative like a 6x7 negative completely flat between the two sheets of glass. Uh, the negative goes in shidey side up against the anti-Newton ring glass uh, which has a pattern etched into the, to the glass so that uh, uh, you don't get Newton rings. You get those when you've got two smooth surfaces next to one another and it will show on your final print as density lines. If you have one of those other sorts of carriers with the inserts, uh, here's the insert for example that you would use for 6x7 and you could put that on the bottom and then have the anti-Newton ring glass on the top and then it ought to hold it flat. We need a lens, for this enlarger there's uh, lens plates like this well, that one would do for 50mm and up to 80mm lenses. If you've got a 35mm lens you want uh, this, uh, it, it actually goes up inside the uh, bellows and if you've got a 100mm say or greater then this one uh, has the lens hanging down underneath. So those are the three lens plates and then lenses of course you use the same size lens that you would use on your camera so if it's a 35mm camera the standard lens is a 50mm so you'd enlarge with a 50mm lens not the camera lens you have a special enlarging lens so this is a, a Schneider 50mm lens for example and they're specially designed so that uh, they're best with flat surfaces um, we need an 80mm lens because it's a 6x7 centimetre negative so here's a red and stop Rodegon lens it just needs to be screwed into the base plate like that and then there's this little knurled knob here there's a couple of uh, spigots on the left hand side and you push the, the uh, lens plate against them and then you tighten up and that ensures that the lens is held in the correct position and isn't uh, slanted in any way. The, the lens is set to f8 and that's how you would use it normally with the negative carrier going in there like that. 
However, we want to do split grade printing. And to do that, you need uh, an easy way to change the contrast uh, that you're going to get in the paper. And by changing the color of light, that's the easiest way. So I said we could use these filters here. And if you were going to use those, then in every box of Ilford paper, they publish the uh, filter factors that you'd have to use. But that's a bit of a fiddle. So we're much better off using one of these, which is a box of Ilford under the lens multigrade filters. And they go from 0 to 5, which is the complete range for contrast with multigrade paper. And they've got all the half grades in between. And in addition to that, they've got a double zero, a really, really soft um, filter. So at the low number end, the zeros, double zeros, it's very low contrast. And at the high end, grade 5, it's high contrast. And this is the best way. You'll get much higher contrast with these filters than you will with any colour head. So to hold those under the lens, you have to take the lens out again, leave the lens plate in, and then you have this device. It comes with the, uh, uh, the under the lens filter kit, and you put that over the lens, you screw the lens back into the base plate. You also get one of these with every kit and this is where the filter is held underneath the lens and it just goes on to the three legs of that uh, tripod device that you've uh, fitted over your lens and then what we can do is uh, put the filters into the filter drawer like that so it's very quick and easy to use the, uh, the filter drawer. So now we're all set uh, to start printing. So the first thing we need is a negative. You can see the, uh, the size of them, they're 6x7, all taken on a, a Mamiya 7 camera. And we just open up the negative carrier and it clicks open, press the button and it closes again. And now we can go down to safe light. The image is far too big on the uh, baseboard so we're going to take it down now we need to focus so this is a grain magnifier it just magnifies the uh, the silver metal in the negative so that you can see whether or not it's sharp you're not actually focusing on what the image looks like you're focusing on the silver grains focus had moved the side of the image so we just need to recompose again and now we're set to go let's turn the enlarger off so that we don't fog the paper now we need a, a filter um, for the first exposure so we're going to start with grade two and a half exposure now we're going to use uh, three filters the grade two and a half exposure grade 0 and grade 5 exposures you may find it helpful to actually lay them out somewhere in an order so that you know which is which somewhere dry not next to your wet bench and it'll make it easier to pick them out under safe light so we've got the uh, filter under there now we need a piece of paper now I know I've used a uh, full sheet of paper normally I would cut my paper into test strips but the paper is quite small okay so now we're set up to make our test strip and for this we're going to do two second steps uh, this is quite a small sheet of paper it's five by seven so it only needs a short uh, exposure time uh, hopefully that's all right one So I'm going to do four steps and I move my finger each time to where I want to move the card as I'm covering up the test strip. I've moved it along. Three. Last one. Four. So I've done uh, two, four, six and eight second steps on my uh, test strip. Now I'm going to process it and then I'll 
turn the lights on and let you see what I've got. Okay, so here's the uh, test strip I just exposed. Uh, you should be able to see that the first step is too light. That's two seconds. There's no black in it anywhere. So it's just greys. This one has blacks all right, but it, it really doesn't have um, any sort of brightness. So all the highlights that you want, the bright parts of your picture, are all degraded and uh, a shade of grey. So it has to be one of these two steps. So it's either the four second or six second step. This one still looks a bit light to me. The rocks are still very light and so is the foliage in the top of the picture. So I'm going to choose this one, which is six seconds. So we're not actually going to make a print at uh, grade two and a half. That would just be a waste of paper. We're just going to use the time that we've now decided on six seconds and split it between the low contrast and the high contrast exposures. So we've got six seconds. That's three seconds at grade naught, three seconds at grade five. And you can ignore all of the uh, fiddle factors that go with filters. Just divide it by two and trust me, it will work. doesn't matter what order you put the filters in either. Uh, the paper doesn't mind whether you put the low contrast one in first or the high contrast one. Now we need to change the time on the timer to three, like that, and go down to safe light again. Right, now we're in safe light again. I'll do the, the split grade test strip. And once again, I'm using a full sheet for a test strip. So we're gonna do three seconds at grade naught, and we're gonna change the filter and do three seconds at grade five, like that. Now I'm going to go away and process this and then turn the lights on and show you what I've got. Right, so here's the print I've just made. Uh, three seconds at grade naught, three seconds at uh, grade five. And you can see straight away the overall print is a bit low contrast and it could do with darkening down on some of these uh, rocks as well. So those two things are achieved by, first of all, the overall contrast of the print comes from the low contrast exposure mainly. So we're gonna go from grade naught to grade one. And I always use grade five for the high contrast, but I just changed the time at grade five. So we're gonna get a little bit more black by using grade one anyway. But if we want more than that, then we increase the time at grade five. So instead of three seconds, we go to four seconds. That's a third extra. That's quite a lot of extra. Okay, down to safe light again. Another sheet of paper. So this is the same exposure time, but I've changed the filter to grade one. Three seconds, grade one. Now I need one more second for the next exposure. One click. Change the grade one to grade five. Press it again. I see two exposures turn. Now I'm going to process this and turn the white lights on and show you what I've got. So here's the uh, print we've just made. You can see that we've put more contrast into the overall print just by changing from grade naught to grade one. And we've added a bit of uh, uh, more darkness into the shadows to make them look like proper shadows. And the rocks are darker. And to compare it, there's the previous one that uh, I did, which was a bit low contrast and light. So you can, you can see the difference between them. And that's probably where I'd stop. We've got a bit of life in the water there. Um, and we, we can see a bit of detail in the shadows. So that's split grade printing using Ilford under the lens multigrade filters.